Hi guys, I got another quick space claim tip for you today, this time related to external flow problems. If you want to do external flow analysis on an object, such as this mock airfoil that we have here, you're going to have to create the fluid domain around this object. The easiest way to do this in space claim is to go to the prepare tab and select this enclosure tool. Select your part, and you'll now see that it creates an enclosure around the part. We can change some of the parameters of this enclosure by going to the Options tab here, and we can choose between a box, a cylinder, a sphere, or a custom shape for our specific analysis. In this case, we're just going to go with a box. We can change the padding or the cushion around our part by changing this value here, and it will essentially scale our enclosure according to the value that we type in there. If you want to change the X, Y, and Z component independently, you can go to one of these boxes and type in an explicit value. And if you need to change the positive and negative sides of those coordinates independently, you can uncheck this symmetric dimensions option, and you'll now get six options to change the coordinate values. So we can change one on this side and one on that side. When we're happy with our enclosure, we can click the green check mark, and this will leave us with an enclosure with our part inside. If we go up to the modeling tab here, we can uncheck our part. And what we can see is we now have an enclosure with a cavity in the middle that matches essentially the part that we started with. This will now become our fluid domain and can be used in our flow analysis. If we are not interested in the initial solid part, so we're not doing heat transfer or FSI or something else where we need the initial part, we can come up here to the browser again, right click on that part and click suppress for physics. And so for our flow analysis, all we need is this enclosure with our geometry and the cavity inside. I hope that tip helps. If you have any questions or suggestions for further videos, please leave them down in the comments. Thanks.